Friday from Mombasa. Um, I have a dilemma. And my dilemma is that it is, um, I'm in a backpack as I said, and there is only a bath, and I don't really like bathing. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like, where do I shower? Like, how does it work? So, I got a friend. His name is Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Um, I think, I think they said his name is Lucy. Uh, and then I'm gonna... I also need to figure out what I'm gonna do today. I wanna go to like Fort Jesus. I wanna go to... I don't think I wanna go to the park. There's like a Hala park. I don't think I wanna go there. And then I wanna go ride a bike. I wanna go to the market. Uh, the local market. And I wanna go to the space... To the spice place. And I wanna go to the old town. So... Actually, that's what I'm gonna do today. Walk around, do all those things. And then... Um, so the guy who got me here said he will charge me seven thousand but i think so what happened when i was in nairobi was the guy who picked me up from the airport said he was gonna charge me i can't remember yeah he was gonna charge me like a hundred us dollars which if you convert to rands it's like 1.2 and 1.2 give or take um depending on where the rent is um and then the guy that i actually so I then I called an Uber driver because I was going to do something random and then I told him and he was like he'll take me for 7,000 Canadian shillings which is about 700, 800 give or take um, so basically I ended up paying like almost half so then the guy here who picked me up from the airport said he was going to charge me so he was like no it's going to be t it's usually 10,000 Canadian shillings but I charge you 7 so I'm looking for somebody who's going to charge me 6 or maybe even 550 so I'm thinking of MacGyvering the Uber thing again and seeing how that goes. Um, yeah. Guys, they have this very beautiful art here. Like, that is so stunning. This one is beautiful. It's made by Steve. I don't know if he sells. That is so funny. I don't like this. Yeah, I know. That's nice. <laughs> The lady here actually knows of a tour guide so she tried to organize that for me but then the tour guide can only come take me at 12. so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my tattoo and i'm gonna go to the pavilion to ride a bike and then i will probably also go to the market or a market or something and then come back um she tried telling me how to get there i'll have to ask her again so now i'm having breakfast and there's no power so my phone could probably go off you guys, so my breakfast has finally arrived. It's mango, pineapple, banana, watermelon, some syrup, pancakes, and coffee. I actually don't understand people who eat watermelons. Like, why? Why would you do that to yourself? But it looks yummy. I'm taking a walk, you guys, because... Excuse me, I was going to go ride a bike, but it's like 10 kilometers, and I don't think I can do it. So the best way is to walk, and I'll come back. Hello. How are you? So the lady who works here said I must just, so that's the backpackers, she said I must just turn right and walk straight. Yeah, I think this is where I must turn. Cool, I'm gonna actually, yeah, I'm gonna take the main road. Oh, 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 oh,
You guys this man is legit like walking his camels around casually and I'm like the fuck is this this is so weird for me oh my gosh I wonder if he'll, uh, he'll allow me to take pictures with him while well, I'm already taking a video I mean pictures with them this is so insane oh my god I've seen two camels casually walking around and I'm actually like hot and there's nothing much to do I went to saw the mall there really is nothing to write home about so I'm gonna go take a nap and have Wi-Fi until the guy who's showing me around comes. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, we're the elephant at the elephant task. What is the name of this area? Uh, this the road is Moy Avenue. Moy Avenue, the and task. that's the elephant task. So he was telling me that when they're looking down, it's an M, and when you strip them around, it's W for welcome. So yeah. welcome to Mombasa. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, this is here behind me. There we go, and I'm here. And there's a beach, people are swimming there. Um, nothing to ride home about, but glad to be seeing it. Oh, I'm glowing. Look at me, yes, honey. Oh, no, chuk, chuk. <laughs> Back at the backpack 
because I'm so tired. I made a mistake of actually thinking I was not tired. So what happened is I got this guy from the ladies at reception and he essentially takes you, puts you in a matatu. Matatu is like a taxi. Um, and then you guys go wherever. So we went to like old town, triggering as fuck because there's a market that's just like full and there's everybody and I just didn't know how I was going to react to it because I didn't know how it was going to be. So I was kind of surprised like by the number of people that were there and the intensity of the place. So I'm quite anxious, but so then I had to cut it short. I was like, bruh, no, I'm going to go home. So I am now back at the backpackers and I'm actually going to lie down and get myself together.